What's up, you magnificent sons of bitches? It's your boy, Country Biscuit, Reverend Conflict, Chris, whatever the hell you want to call me. Most people call me asshole. As you can tell, chilling in the new fucking vehicle. Uh, that's my pest control stuff. I've got a transit now, so you know, serial killer van, no windows. But uh, this video is just going to be a thrift haul. I want to show you the shoes that I'm picking up, uh, maybe tell you why I'm picking them up, and uh, maybe give you some tips. I don't know. I just want to show you the shoes I got because I'm pretty stoked about them. So let's jump into it. This is where I do my thing. Anyway, so, like I said, I got some shoes. These are the ones that you saw from the last video, the 10 pair that I got. These are all that I've gotten since then. So, I do everything in batch. That way I can basically take the receipts and then I just divide by the number of pairs I got. And then every pair is going to be a buy cost. So if I bought, you know, uh, 10 pair of shoes and it cost me $70, then each shoe is $7. And that's what I'm going to put for my batch when I list, uh, when I, when I use my uh, spreadsheet for my buy cost. Um, that allows me to buy some shoes that are a little higher priced, knowing that that cost is going to come down. So I'll give you some examples as we go through these. So. Let's start it off just because they're right here. We'll go with these. 1993 embroidered Looney Tune Keds. These are in amazing condition. I didn't think they were actually vintage. I thought they were kind of new because they're so clean. But uh, when I check the tags, 1993, and then I check the comps, these sell for $75 on eBay. So, nice and Again, the thing says $4.99, but once you do all the pairs and you divide by the number of pairs, you're going to get your actual buy cost per pair. So what it says on the shoe doesn't really matter to me. So anyway, next pair I got, these New Balance um, Fresh Foams. These are the uh, Rishi, Arashi, I don't know. I'm not going to know the names for most of these because I'm not a sneakerhead. I'm a shoe reseller. Uh, sneakerheads collect shoes and are nerds and shoe resellers like to make money and I like to make money so anyway uh, these New Balance um, they got a cool bottom tread picked up these Vans these ultra range ultra Kush um, these are basically brand new like the store donated them there is no wear no tear no anything on them uh, listing on eBay, these sell for $93. So I will list these as new without box. Some Nike running shoes. These are the Downshift Downshifter 7s. Uh, again, clean shoes, no rips, no tears. Got the insoles. And again, my goal is to spend less than, you know, three minutes cleaning. That way I can photograph and get them listed. Next up, these are one of the examples I was talking to you about. I paid up for these because I knew that the rest of the shoes being lower priced would balance me out on my buy cost. These are Adidas Ultra Boost. But what's special about these is these are the Chinese New Year edition. I'm going to scoot closer see if you can see. It says like Rinji or whatever. Anyway, when you type in the number, it comes up as the Chinese New Year. Now, these were $19.99. If I'd have gone in there uh, by themselves, I'm not going to lie. I still would have just bought these if this is all I found. Because uh, if you look on eBay, uh, sold comps, they're anywhere from $60 to $124. So these are heavily sought out. And especially in the 10 and a half size, which these are. Got the insole. No rips, tears no funk which is important a lot of people don't talk about that rips and tears are definitely not something that you want to mess with but you also don't want funk Sacconi Hurricane 
uh, these are the ISO series. These are the, what are these called? These are the Hurricane ISO 2s, size 12, 699 Again, I'm gonna say the prices sometimes because it's an old way of thinking, but uh, the new method works great when you just combine everything. Now these actually are better to me than any shoe that I got, and they are the Salomon 4D um, Contra Grip Heavy Duty, like snow boot, waterproof, whatever. Why they're in Texas, I have no idea. But anyway, I picked these up, size 12 and a half. You can look up Solomon Contra Grip, Contra Grip 4D on eBay. These sell for over $100 used. Great score. Uh, again, if you're one of those weirdos that is stuck in by cost, $7.99. All right, so I picked up all those yesterday, and then these are all Nike back here, these five pair, and I'm gonna explain what I did to get these five. It cost me zero dollars, so that helps me bring these buy costs down because I will factor in, instead of seven pairs divided by $69 and 20 cents. 69, 20, wherever it is. It's going to be 12 pairs divided by 69.20. So, see this giant pile of clothes? I told you, well, if you follow me on Instagram, uh, xrev.conflictx, yes, I'm a reverend. Um, I'm getting out of the clothes game, mostly because it is exhausting. Um, and honestly, because at the end of the year, I looked at where I made most of my money online reselling and 80% of it was shoes. So I'm gonna stick with the stuff that's making me the most money, which is shoes. Bow, 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 bow. So I had a gentleman that is a vintage reseller here in Houston come over to the house and I let him go shopping in my store. And he picked out about 15 pieces plus a duffel bag that he wanted for himself and he just happened to have a shoe box full of Nikes. And he asked if I wanted to do a trade and I said, for sure. How much did he want for shoes? He wanted $10 a piece. So I picked out five extremely clean. These are some fly nets. This is the other pair of fly nets that everybody is goo goo gaga over. They're called the uh, the rainbow, electric rainbow or whatever, fly knits. Some lunars. I've actually sold three pair of these uh, fly, fly knit lunars before, like the cool little whatever you call that pattern. And then the last pair are just some, uh, they look like Roshis to me, but I'm sure that's not what they are. Uh, Cool little teal. They're all size 10 and a half, which is an amazing men's size to sell. But I got all those for, uh, essentially, he wanted $10 a piece. So we just took that down from the inventory he traded from me. And then he still gave me cash to make up the difference. So I use my phone to record, so I'll have to do the math in my head. But 12 pairs of shoes divided by 69.20. I want to say it's like $5.76, $5.70 something cents per pair. So my buy cost per pair is $5.76. And again, don't quote me, I don't, I'm not, I'm guesstimating, but so these aren't $19.99 anymore, they're $5.76. So I can, I can kind of put my pricing when I list them, I can either be right close to what they're selling for, or I can actually come a little lower to hopefully move them a little faster. But uh, I generally like to price up first and then I can make offers on Poshmark and or do a discount a week later or a few days later and it will reshare it. Um, but this is the haul that I've got. 12 shoes. Extremely excited. Most of them are clean. I think the boots, i got to clean the bottom. And uh, the Sacconis have a little, they got some rocks that i got to 
chip out. But other than that, these shoes shouldn't take me more than maybe 30 minutes to clean all of them. I'll get them photographed. My little station in the back where that boot is, that medical boot, I actually got out of my neighbor's trash on heavy day. Uh, I'll probably Facebook Marketplace that. It sells for like 40, 50 bucks. Um, and I'm probably gonna be removing that monitor there because that's where I used to test VCRs and stuff like that. Kind of winding down on that a little bit as well just because um, everybody and their mom's doing it. So I don't need it anymore so I can actually create a better space to take better photos. And um, still cranking out guitar, hero guitars. But yeah, that's it. These are uh, shoes that have been cleaned and just need to be photographed, shoes that need to be cleaned. Uh, this is something different. These are shoes that I acquired for two dollars or less that I just have on Facebook marketplace uh, I didn't spend a lot of time cleaning them I kind of just like freshened them up and then quick these are quick sell shoes mostly Sperry's uh, Sperry's are good for quick, you know, ten fifteen dollar flips on Facebook marketplace and uh, Then I got all my packing material and stuff like that. Now. I will say not shoe related I did score one shirt. I still do buy about 20% vintage if I can find it and I know that it's going to sell. I picked up this Pearl Jam. Uh, I get this word weird. It's an, it's, it's an album though. Binaural? Binaural? I'm an idiot so I don't know the word. But anyway, it's their album, Binaural 2000. It is a Pearl Jam soccer jersey. Size extra large. If you look these up, these sell for between sixty and eighty dollars on eBay. I paid six dollars, so yes, I will still pick things up like this when I know it's a home run. But no longer will I pick up insane clown posse shirts for two dollars and sell them for ten because it is not congruent to what I'm trying to do. The margins are too small and it's too much of a headache to take the pictures, take the measurements, and then uh, respond to people that are like, uh, it says extra large, but uh, is it extra large long? Is it extra large shirt? How does it fit as an extra long? Because I have a weird shaped body. Well, guess what? We all have fucking weird shaped bodies. So, no more clothes for me unless it is a damn home run. But uh, that's the shoe haul. Like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. Tell me I suck. Whatever you want to do. Let's do a turn. Oh, I got another rack coming in. These are all shoes that are listed and ready to go. Some bins of some stuff that needs to go. And then my toys. Oh, and then I like daily affirmations. So I have a bunch of these posters that say give up. It's also one of my favorite artists and happens to be one of my friends. So that's it. Peace, love, and chicken grease. Deuce. You're still here? Fuck. Oh, I forgot to tell you about tips. I forgot to leave a tip on the video. What were we talking about shoes? Uh, oh, here's a tip. Never take a shit on the back of a toilet and then put the top back on it. Because when they flush it, your poop comes into the toilet. It's called an upper decker. Don't do it. Uh, shoe tip. Uh, one way to make your shoes look nicer when you source is to use these tree shoehorn thingies. I'm going to put a link in the description. You can get 10 pair for like 15 bucks. I'm not an affiliate, so I don't get anything out of it. I just like to help people save some money. This is what they look like when you put them in. See how fancy that looks? And then you have yourself a nice white background or wooden like I use. Man gonna look real nice uh, also instant shoe cleaner I get it at Walmart I buy it by the case I got lots of it and a good brush uh, that's a tip for you don't pee on electric fences either the old double decker